Hello and welcome back to again a very important session of integrated marketing communication. You see, starting from lots of creativity, a fascinating world of advertising, moving through personal selling, direct marketing, cause related marketing. Now we are moving towards public relations. You see, having an emphasizing presence, meaningful presence through developing relations with people around, having an aspect related to influencers, influencing people's thought, thoughts and getting influencers, people who can influence to influence the thought process of our customers our stakeholders. It is not complex at all. It is a matter of how effectively we can reach out, how effectively we can share our views, how effectively we can associate whatever is happening around us with our organizational orientation and project it rightly. And this is what is you know public relations all about. It actually generates word of mouth. Word of mouth definitely is generated by so many things, but public relations, public relations management definitely generates effective word of mouth and that is what we are going to see. And while we are talking about this, I want you to go for analyzing and understanding several organizations through their PR efforts. I want you to see that what they intend to do through public relations exercises and how they are influencing your opinion. You know, if you look at yourself as a target customer. For example, an oil company getting associated with different societal causes through their PR exercises, are they making a difference? If they are, then they are successful. For example, a large mining organization, how they are getting associated with different kinds of cause related marketing communications, cause related marketing for that matter, getting associated with different kinds of societal causes around them and then developing a public relations exercise telling about their efforts. Is it making a difference? If it is, then definitely they are successful. So, that is what you have to look into. You see, public relations is definitely managed by separate kinds of departments within organizations. There are PR agencies who actually manage that and you know this group focuses upon developing positivity around the names of the organizations through several kinds of press releases and several kinds of modes which we will be talking about. But whatever is coming our way from different kinds of medias, vehicles within medias about particular kind of an organization through an integrated manner and the specific element which is directed towards building up a positive image about the organization while demonstrating their actions that is what public relation exercise is. It is away from paid form of advertising we all know that, but it integrates the advertising efforts just in simple terms. You know, while looking at it very simply, you find one advertisement in a television, uh, you know, uh, about an organization in television, then you find uh, an internet clipping about that organization, you next morning you find something about that, you know, similar kind of an advertisement about that organization in a newspaper and then the next day you find a particular kind of a press release about that organization, about how they got associated with a particular kind of an event and so on and that is where and then the next day they are sponsoring some effort around them. They are actually standing by some you know uh, something which is required by let us say the society and so on. And as I said you know there are agencies, there are internal people who are handling that. Now, what are the objectives? Explicitly communication has one objective as I have been repeatedly saying to develop the brand equity, to 
to develop a positive image about the organization and the products they produce, services they have in the minds of the customers and people at large. But that can be broken down into very specific objectives when we look at public relations exercise. You see, promoting goodwill, that is positive image. And that, that goodwill has an accounting reality, remember this, because that converts into stakeholders response and stockholders value as well. So that is, you know, it, it, it's magical when it converts into that later on. Counteracting negative publicity. See, there are several questions which are being raised about several kinds of organizations from all around. For example, if you are into uh, large businesses like mining or, you know, kind of transportation or let us say, wherein you inevitably are contributing somewhere into, uh, you know, uh, let us say, I would not say climate depletion, but what else to say basically. But you are into a business which is relevant, which you know no one can do without it. So, somehow it is paradoxical, but you have to live by it. So, there are some questions always raised upon you, and those questions have to be fend off while you know standing by the cause you are you are pursuing by following the law of the land, precisely by abiding by the law, by abiding by the rules on the one side, but on the other side pushing away the negative publicity through positive publicity and that is what precisely PR works for. And you see, uh, you, if you will find what public relations of a bank they do, definitely they generate trust amongst customers through different kinds of you know modes or news releases all the time because banking is related to trust. So, even if you are not into a business which is actually you know kind of uh, struggling to support the environment while somehow contributing against it, you are into a business wherein you are, you are related to finance, then trust is a big issue. Then definitely promoting a product or a service, then for you know developing internal communication as well, strengthening a feeling of trust amongst the employees who are the brand ambassadors for the organization for the outside world, giving advice and counseling to the stakeholders and what are the tools? Press releases, wherein you have to have very strong media relations. You see media relations is a part of public relations. You have to have a very effective, very effective communication linkage with media, wherein you can suggest that this is worth reaching to the common masses because media would take or carry forward whatever they would believe in is worth reaching to the masses because they are the fourth pillar as far as you know the society goes, the nation goes. Then there are feature stories, there are company newsletters wherein on the one side these newsletters are informative, on the other side these newsletters they carry so many things which on daily basis one cannot tell people through advertisements or messages through you know uh, mobile phones or which, whichever way. So, so, you have to have you know a detailed description of what you are up to, what you are supporting. Then there are press conferences definitely a part of media relations, interviews, interviews from the side of the leadership, interviews from the side of you know managerial uh, teams and so on. And then there are sponsored events as well. Now, just, just look at press releases for example. You see how, where and how, how press releases are used. They can be used for product launches, they can be used for announcing new associations, partnerships, mergers, acquisitions, takeovers, whichever way and, and or even slightest of the thing which you are doing. For example, in academic institutions, press releases are very good mode of public relations. wherein you keep on telling the society that you see nation is supporting for example, a government educational institution is supported by public money. So, people they are eligible to know that you know they, they are actually you know they should know that what the institution is doing. So, institutions they keep on releasing 
you know details about what kind of researches are being carried forward, what achievements are being done by their students and faculty and staff and, and how they are pursuing to become excellent day by day or how they are pursuing the excellence itself. So, that is that is a very important thing. For example, in today's world perception about institutions are being uh, you know is being used for ranking the institutions. So, perception build up definitely comes in very very you know it gets supported by public relations exercises and then especially press releases of course. Then to promote an event to announce an award and awards they also become mode of actually you know building a trust about an organization or let us say in simple terms contributing in the brand equity of an organization as such. For example, if organization wins a particular kind of an award it is commended by an agency an authentic organization or let us say a large rating organization or the government of uh, the nation and so on or the awards which are won by the leadership of that particular kind of an organization corporate excellence awards and these kind of several kinds of awards are there. Then press releases definitely contribute in fundraising to you know announce specific appointments and, and that is very important because that definitely uh, becomes you know a point of discussion amongst several stakeholders and masses at large. For example, a large corporation is getting a new leadership and uh, you know they want to know that who is going to lead that particular organization because that organization is touching upon the lives of several people all around. So, this is how press releases are used for, for now you can just you know look at these points otherwise you can enumerate several others from your side, but start watching the press releases. Look at them with a public relations perspective now onwards. Whenever you are reading a newspaper watch for it. You see for example, Apple they you know they released about one of uh, their products wherein you know they, they are talking about fall detection, advanced fitness features and family setup uh, you know with, with their watch OS 7. And this press release mentioned design mentions about design, performance, advanced features, health and safety, family setup, optimizations and pricing and, and so on. Because many a times these kind of things must complement the kind of advertising campaign Apple would go for about this kind of a product. Wherein people would not know that you know what actually it, it constitutes of because that can be known by the people through different kinds of sequential campaigns or demonstrations which would be done on spot. So, this would definitely have a very strong complementary role from the side of the same organization if it is talking about let us say data security then also it becomes the matter of uh, press release, but that definitely contributes towards the larger image build of the organization itself. So, here you see one example can be chosen to talk about the press release uh, in relation to one of their products and on the other side their image building at large. Then there are feature stories you invite a particular journalist and request them to write about you know one issue one aspect or let us say organization at large. So, that is where you know, feature stories come in. You see WHO wrote feature stories celebrating human resilience, ingenuity and creativity during pandemic time wherein you know that the title of uh, that uh, those stories were. Uh, the titles of those stories were one year into the COVID-19 pandemic, six stories that inspire hope and so on. Wherein you know one story Lao PDR was related to unlocking the full potential of small and medium sized enterprise. Then one story was related to Costa Rica, wherein women firefighters on the front line you know uh, were, were uh, talked about for uh, you know they, wherein they supported resilient recovery. So, that actually you know discussed their efforts and one story about Kenya that, that talks about creating sustainable jobs for youth. So, that is how you know uh, these stories were uh, put up in uh, as features wherein they demonstrated the efforts of several kinds of organizations involved and all this is to build up the confidence of people that there are people at the backdrop who are working day in day out to
to bring humanity out of this uh, you know uh, situation company newsletters i have already mentioned about those specifically interviews and press conferences and here comes the element of publicity you see the generation of news about a person product or service that appears in the media now the point of generation is the concern as far as the publicity goes so what as i said what relevance you would bring in that particular kind of a story or how it would be considered as relevant by media and you see it it carries free media exposure as we all know if you remember i discussed about gillette story wherein procter and gamble went for shevathon now that carried lots of press releases and lots of media coverage and lots of specific stories about gillette's effort and that actually brought in lots of publicity for gillette and definitely that was free media coverage so if you will analyze through those kind of cases you would realize that the kind of you know space they acquired or they got for free if they would have paid for that that would have costed them and probably then the impact analysis would have to be done on the basis of the uh, you know kind of customer response generated per rupee which was spent on that kind of an advertisement free publicity on the other side is more trustworthy because that is uh, you know generated through independent source on the basis of some action and event which has been organized by an organization so so somehow you know an advertisement is from the side so it it is purposeful it is paid and customer looks at it with a different kind of a benefit uh, you know which he may get out of purchase he would make at the end of that whole process but publicity definitely is seen as a neutral kind of an aspect wherein uh, you know context of trust is slightly more as compared to other modes so publicity is backed up about with lots of advertising afterwards definitely can carry weight or the other way round now there was uh, you know uh, an incident as far as uh, snap incorporated goes wherein it it became uh, you know uh, controversial in terms of uh, the remark by its ceo uh, some time back wherein he happened to mention about you know rich people poor people and specifically named our great nation and somehow it you know was immediately responded to with lots of uh, refutation and rightly so if some organization is actually thinking in terms of earning money out of a particular uh, you know customer customer class who belong to a nation and you are saying something against that nation those people would not take it happily and should never do that no nation should do it but if you have said so there are repercussions customer would immediately refute to that and that's precisely what happened with this organization the intent for this demonstration here is that you should understand the difference between negative publicity and positive publicity negative publicity is based on the negative intent which your statement might carry although you may you may always apologize for that later on and you would say that somehow it you know came as a spurt or somehow it it, it was a passing remark but passing remarks are hurtful and we should not hurt the feelings of others and especially you know when we are seeking their favors as customers although we should never hurt feeling of others in any case but when you are looking them as as with a point of view of customers then it's absolutely you know not kind of acceptable with with all the business logic as well so the message is very clear that publicity should always be positive and organizations should be responsible we should respect the feelings of others and that is what public relations is all about we should very well understand that if for example as an indian i love india 
then definitely others would be loving their own nations and that is a mutual feeling of respect which we should carry about each other. Avon, they came up with a wonderful kind of a campaign, you know, publicity campaign and public relations exercise wherein they said that isolated but not alone. And the objective here was that in the midst of the pandemic, women and children definitely came under lots of risk of domestic violence and several cases were reported and they were vulnerable. This came out at several discussion forums, cases were reported. Now, Avon along with Avon Foundation for Women launched this exercise or this event or, or let us say a public relations exercise hashtag isolated not alone campaign and you see they partnered with three NGOs Shakti Shalini, Swayam and Family Planning Association of India and issued a total grant of US dollars 122,500 approximately 94 lakh rupees to sign post help for those in need. Now to spread awareness Avon hosted live sessions on Instagram with opinion leaders such as Lakshmi Agarwal, Vrinda Grover, Faraz Ali, Faraz Arif Ansari, Dr. Samir Parekh and Roshni Bhatia, all the respectable people of our society. And Avon also engaged with Instagram influencers who actively talk about societal issues such as Aishwarya Sharma, Nivedita, Priya Rana and Naz Arora through which you know the brand was able to reach out to over a million unique users. You can find about the details about the speakers and the people associated with this kind of a campaign and exercise through different kinds of uh, uh, resources on YouTube and Google and, and specific resources are being mentioned at the end of uh, the slides as well. And you see the results were good. Because you see Avon is associated with such kind of projects, uh, uh, products and getting associated with this kind of a project made lots of you know uh, kind of smooth association with the organizational orientation, the product you are associated with, your, your products and services and the cause you are supporting. And then you are going for a public relations exercise through different kinds of tools available which makes lots of sense, which brings in lots of trust and develops a meaningful contribution from your side for the society. Then there is an element of event sponsorship wherein companies they specifically sponsor events as a matter of public relations, wherein your name come along with for example, there are technical festivals. One of the technical festivals of IIT Roorkee is Cognizance which is supported by different kinds of organizations and, and that makes sense because they belong to those kind of fields. Then there is a cultural festival which is known all over the country uh, uh, of IIT Roorkee called Thomso and it is supported by several organizations which, which definitely come forward to you know get associated not only with the students and uh, different uh, students of IIT Roorkee and different students from all over the country as such. But their orientation is of you know the, the kind which is liked by uh, youth, the orientation of their products and services. Then you see there are there is lots of statistics available when we talk of uh, agency holding groups and independent networks worldwide uh, by PR revenue. So you know for example, Omnicom PR group they you know their income in million US dollars in 2020 was 1301.8 million US dollars. That is the kind of fee they earned and, and so on. So there are several kinds of other groups which are related to this kind of uh, you know business and, and uh, the slide is explicit. You can read about that. Now comes in influencer marketing. Let us look at some, some dictionary element of that as well. According to Cambridge Dictionary, an influencer is a person or group that has the ability to influence the behavior or opinion of others. Who can be that influencer? Who holds that kind of a position in society or even a common man whose experiences are shareable 
एंड कैन इन्फ्लुएंस योर थाट्स ललिता जी आपकी साड़ी मेरी साड़ी से सफ़ेद कैसे दैट कैन बी एन इन्फ्लुएंस अ कॉमन लेडी ऑन द रोड परचेजिंग वेजिटेबल कैन बी एन इन्फ्लुएंसर इफ शी इज वियरिंग अ सफ़ेद साड़ी विच इज़ ब्राइटर दैन दी साड़ी ऑफ द अनदर लेडी हु इज़ परचेजिंग फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स फ्राम द सेम मार्केट एज सच एंड इट गोज विदाउट सेंग अ स्टूडेंट हु इज डूइंग वेरी वेल इन इज लाइफ कैन बी एन इन्फ्लुएंसर अ पैरालंपिक चैम्पियन कैन बी एन इन्फ्लुएंसर अ क्रिकेटर कैन बी एन इन्फ्लुएंसर एंड सो ऑन सो इसी इट इज ऑल्सो रिलेटेड टू अ सीरीज ऑफ पर्सनलाइज मार्केटिंग टेक्निक्स डायरेक्टेड एट इंडिविजुअल्स और ग्रुप्स हु हैव द क्रेडिबिलिटी एंड केपेबिलिटी टू ड्राइव पॉजिटिव वर्ड ऑफ माउथ इन अ ब्रॉडर एंड सेलियंट सेगमेंट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन द बेसिक आइडिया बहाइंड इन्फ्लुएंसर मार्केटिंग इज टू गिव दैम समथिंग टू टॉक अबाउट एंड देन यू सी देर इज अगेन अ चार्ट विच कैन सपोर्ट फ्यू एस्पेक्ट्स Influencer marketing market size worldwide from 2016 to 2021 in billion US dollars talks about 13.8 billion dollars in 2021, which is big, which is huge. Then there are professional influencer programs. Now professionals are experts in the field. hired professionals celebrities possessing a solid strength of character who can contribute to the process creatively and have the ability to change behavior you see you have seen mr akshay kumar talking about women hygiene in and few of the campaigns recently and then there are other people there are sportsmen who talk about healthy living good life then as i said common man now in the past influencers were limited to celebrities as i said but this has been expanded to athletes thought leaders industry experts owners of the organizations themselves who have been successful who have been societal icons small children who have done well malala who herself is an icon for youth who has done so much for this world and so on you see there are several people whom we can look up to you see for example four time olympic gold medalist and grand slam record holder serena williams has been publicly vocal about several issues and that definitely helps then there are ted conferences and so on so you see at the end of the day we are talking about public relations we are talking about different tools we are talking about press releases effectiveness of press releases how to generate effectiveness around press releases and in this session we are stopping at the role of influencers and influence in generating public relations keep watching keep looking around you and keep getting mesmerized by integrated marketing communications i'll see you next time till then goodbye